Hello Aquarius, welcome to your who's coming in for you in January read. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon. Leave comments down below. I'd love to interact with you guys. Let's keep this new spirit. I'm looking for new love for Aquarius. New love. New love potential. One more shuffle. New love. messages look at that coming in pretty quickly so somebody's thinking about messaging you and it's driving them nuts because um they have all these things they want to tell you look at that page of wands they really want to flirt they may already be sending flirty messages in now nah, not yet because we have the six of pentacles here too so you equally like one another you will okay if you know who this person is you have the same feelings for one another. Um, they're definitely, look at them, they're standing there. Um, they are just afraid to get out of their comfort zone. Definitely an Aries Leo Sag, okay? Very passionate, but they're very flirty. And they're standing here and they've been thinking about this for a while, but it's almost like if they think about it any longer, they could miss their opportunity with you. And their desire is to just start like messaging you and um, and it, it won't be just one, it'll be many. It's, um, you're gonna know this person's intention. Um, this is a very passionate relationship, so I'm going to say this, that this person coming in may not be a long-term um, prospect at first, all right? We'll see what the rest of the cards say, but right now it's very youthful and it's very fun and playful and flirty. It's very flirty and it's, all, it's very lusty. So this is all about physical attraction and passion okay so this could be just a short term but we'll see because it comes in so fast and it happens so fast sometimes when things come in so fast they leave just as fast but this person's been thinking about this for a while and they're just waiting to make contact with you okay and you both feel the same way about one another you guys will probably go out for a few drinks too so this does seem like a very very um, it could be with another Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, but this does feel like it's mutual. Feelings are mutual here, 100% mutual when you meet. And it's like you both are in this very playful, like, let's get the hell out of here type of attitude. Um, you may both just want to kind of go out and have fun and not really take things seriously. So again, it's coming to, um, to what I was saying, that this might just be a really quick fling. It could be somebody that you know already, um, but they've been just eyeballing you and they can't take it anymore. They're going to start texting. Um, but this could be you thinking about texting your person. All right? You might know who I'm talking about. But this is the type of relationship where you both may go to the same bar. You might, um, you might both just like to drink and listen to music and go out. You know, this could be, this is just a very playful, fun, um, carefree, let's not give a fuck type of attitude. And you both feel the same. So it's two consenting adults. Um, so have fun, okay? Have fun because that's what's written all over these cards. I'm getting strong fire, um, Leo, Aries, Sag, but I'm also getting um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with some earth in there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but re really strong fire with some water in there, okay? And you both are very, you know, your spirits are high. You just want to um, have a good time. I really just see having fun and having some drinks and dancing and then getting really flirty and so you know what goes from there. Okay. How do they have the potential of this relationship long term? Well, you know, I see when I was pulling here with the King of Swords and I thought it was Aquarius, I do see Ten of Cups here. So there is a potential for long term relationship and them choosing to do this. Um, but whether, you know, right now the Page of Pentacles too here. So um, there could be another person, too, um, that's also involved here, too. But I'm going to leave that there and not go that direction. But let's see how they see this. Ace of Wands, they're just, they're they're passionate about you. So the Ace of Wands, ironically, has been coming out in almost every one of the reads I'm doing tonight because I set the intention earlier that I wanted to do a Who's Coming In For You January, February, March. And I think, what is it, March um, or April, which is the beginning of... Um, spring but i feel like the ace of wands is the springtime the beginning of spring first day of spring and i feel like 
um, this may be going to a whole different level by then, but I feel like right now the intensity is really all about lust and attraction. Um, neither of you are looking past this right now. That's where I'm getting at. Neither of you are looking long term. You're looking at the moment, living in the moment. And this could carry out into the spring as well. If it doesn't start in the spring, it could carry out into the spring. And that may be where you decide where this relationship's going to go. How do they feel? Um, here, you know what? How do they, let me reshuffle here. I want to see how they um, feel with when you meet. I don't know if I want to do this with this one because I know how they feel about you already. So, let's see. Let me see. How did they feel about you deeply regarding this situation? The sun card, a Leo card. So they see you as very fun, loving, and playful, okay? And they, I think they're holding back, and this is what I was, I was the reason why I wanted to be shuffled to, because I was getting this before, but it's coming out again. How they feel about this situation is they're holding back their true feelings. They're moving really slow with that. So as this moves forward, this relationship is going to move slow. It's going to start up super fast, just like I said, and then it's going to move very slow because this person um, who could be an Aquarius or have a lot of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in their chart is, um, but this could be you also just holding back your feelings because you might start to gain a lot of feelings for this person, but you may know that this person um, is only short term or they're only in it for the fun, okay? But you don't know, you don't know, but you, somebody's holding back their feelings here. And there's, it's, you both are moving really slow, like slow turtle pace to open up, to open it up to one another about where this relationship is going. I don't think either of you wanna ruin the fun here, but you're definitely, um, how you feel about this is you're very slow in holding back your feelings. But this person really sees you as um, fun, loving, and very optimistic. And they like being around you and having fun. I just feel like eventually it's going to get to you and you're going to want more. You're going to want more from this, okay? And you're hiding those feelings here. And this is what I originally wanted to come up. And I was like, let's not go negative with these reads, but you're hiding your feelings. So eventually in this relationship, Aquarius, I think you're going to be the one that's hiding your feelings about how you truly feel about this relationship. And you're going to want it to move further into a more long-term relationship. Sometimes relationships that start off really quickly, though, um, end pretty quickly. But we don't know. So I'm going to see what clarifies. I'm going to get some advice here. Three of Cups. So there's that Three of Cups again, just celebrating um, and having drinks together with some friends. And I feel like that's where this is going. Okay. Um, I think that there's a, um, I think that that'll come to an end. It'll slowly die down. Here you have the Nine of Cups, then you have the Three of Cups. And the way I'm looking at it here is you go from all this fun and drinking and having a good time to sort of slowing down. And then we have the chariot here, wanting to slow down and settle in on this relationship. And you want um, to know the, you want to have a new perspective on this entire relationship. You want to know, eventually you're going to want to know where this is going. That's the bottom line. Um, it's fun, all in, fun and games in the beginning, but it's, it's apparent here that you definitely are going to want to know where this is going. And you want, you definitely want this to end, Okay. You want this cycle to eventually end and you want it to move into something more serious like this, the Ten of Cups again. This is what you ultimately want. So think about, so these are your messages today. Think about this person's coming in pretty quick and maybe holding on to your feelings, holding back your feelings is wise right now because you you may not, this may not be your long-term um commitment that you you might not be getting your long-term commitment out of this relationship that you want but it's going to be fun for now so enjoy the fun as it's here and then see where it goes but I can see here clearly that um, one of you and it looks as though it's you is going to want an end to this 
this partying and this hanging out, you're going to want more. It's clear as day. All right. So the choice is always yours. You have free will. And, um, and that's it. You guys are very attracted to one another. I just keep getting that as I pull cards. Very attracted to one another. This is a very lustful sexual relationship. Very fun. And, um, but ultimately, it does lift your spirits up for the time being. Um, it does give you life again, maybe in some sense. But in the long term, you're going to start to um, realize that you're catching feelings for this person that are deeper than just um, sex. Okay, guys? I love you. Please comment down below. Let me know if it resonates. And uh, hit the like button and take care.